Next up for you on Yo TV, we have female artists from the Bay Area. Some of them rap, some of them sing. You don't want to stay tuned to Yo TV. Oh boy, yeah, we Yo TV, we back here. Youth culture, youth voices, youth power, coming at you. What's happening, we Yo TV out here? Before we go any further, I have to big up the magazine. Yo TV, we are back just like we promised. I am Anne. I am Donnie. And it's democracy time. <laughs> I'm it joking. Is. I was digging your sweatshirt. But here we are to bring you the voices of young folks in the Bay Area. We tell you what's going on. We got some singers up next for you. Female singers, mm -hmm. vocalists, Miss Jennifer John yeah. from Oakland, right? From Performed the at the Down Low. That's a good like little spot. We got Swan chopping it up with her and you get to meet her up next on Yo TV. We're outside Shattuck Down Low. Right here with the Miss Beautiful, Miss Talented, Jennifer Johns, and she's performing with Les Nubians tonight. She's a soul singer, R&B singer. She don't like to be put in a box. <laughs> not to be put her in the box. <laughs> no boxes! <laughs> but she's an amazing, talented woman. My first Bro. album is called Heavy Electromagnetic Solar Poetic Jungle Hop. <laughs> Wait, you're going to have to say that one more time. <laughs> one heavy, more time. Heavy Electromagnetic Solar Poetic Jungle Hop. Jungle hop, okay. Yes. So, what is that describing the music? Yeah, I think it was describing where I was at that phase in my life. Okay. It was describing the music. It was, um, you know, an attempt to not be boxed in. So, here, let me just tell you all the things that are on my <laughs> mind right now. You know, it's, it's heavy, it's electric, it's magnetic, it's, you know, it's hip hop, it's soul, it's jungle. The um, album that you're working on right now, mm -hmm. how is that different or similar to where you're at in, in the way, in your I'm career? Old. In your I'm older now. I've seen a couple different things. I've traveled. I've made music, so I have a little bit more experience. Anything that you do over time, you're going to get better at. You know, something's going to change. And I've just had different experiences and different influences now, so I have different things to say. You know. And what's this one called? This one's called Painting on Wax. Oh, Painting, Painting on, on Wax. wax. Okay. Yeah. I think a good artist is always supposed to tell you where they are then. So my next record. It might be country and western if I think I'm <laughs> Expressing myself through music has always been an option. You know, it's always been a really great outlet for me. Um, and uh, it was one of those things, along with dance and, and theater, but way to a lesser degree, that has just always been available to me as an expression option. My father's a singer. Um, I was in Oakland Youth Chorus. My parents kept me in artistic things fairly consistently, so. Um, what were some of the challenges that you had to face to get up to this point. The industry makes you ask yourself how badly you want it on a daily basis. You know, it's, you know, are you willing to put on that much makeup, which I don't have on right now, <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you, are you willing to, you know, uh, travel like that and not see your family and, you know, miss important dates like graduations and weddings and things like that. Um, and so I think that it's been more a matter of like, you know, am I willing to put in this much time? And the answer has been consistently a resounding yes. How is it that you've lived your life, the way that you live your life as a woman, mm -hmm. as a young woman, mm -hmm. and still being in this industry that, you know, kind of chews people up and spits them out if, you know, they're not talking about a certain thing, you know? Faith. Faith. It's been, um, you can't tell me I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. So there's a lot of adversity that, that happens in the world and certainly it will bother me, but it's not my problem. You know what I mean? The drama that comes to me isn't my problem. You know, I have a job to do that is way bigger than money, and way bigger than, you know, than 
the glitz and the glamour of the industry. You know what I mean? Like I make music that I, I pray is the soundtrack to folks' lives. So what have been the biggest rewards of yours? Traveling, traveling, and the people that you get to meet and the, um, just the, you learn a lot about yourself on the road. You know, what you can and you cannot handle. And I mean, I've been blessed to go overseas and tour extensively in Europe. And um, I've toured, I'm going to Malaysia and Singapore at the end of the month, which is really, really exciting. Um, and to have a job that takes you to do what you love in really exciting tropical places, which is really awesome. Um, and I've played with so many amazing people. I just did a tour with Lauren Hill in Hawaii, which was like life altering because I've looked up to her since 96, you know. And what does success look like to you? I'm successful now. Um, and I will continue to be successful as I continue to do what I'm supposed to do, you know what I mean? Um, so I plan on seeing myself on gigantic billboards and I plan on selling an amazing amount of records and um, I plan on breaking some records and, and um, I plan on changing the world. Also, is there anything, any advice that you would give other young aspiring artists, women, um, mm -hmm. about um, getting to that point in their lives where they can be successful and do what they love to do and get paid for it and make a living off of it? Specifically women, I would say make alliances with other women artists. There are not a ton of us out there, and we should support each other. Um, and the blessings that I have had have certainly, there have certainly been a lot of, of women artists that have either taken me under their wing, like the Nubian did not have to take me on tour, you know, but those sisters support what I do, so they look out, you know what I mean? Um, so to women, I would say, you don't have to dumb me down, and you don't have to sell your body, you don't have to be a hoochie, you have to do what's in your heart. and. Sexy is hot. So if you happen to want to take off your clothes and you happen to want to talk about that and that's what's in your heart, then do that shit and you'll be successful at it. And if that's not what you want to do, you feel like that's what you're doing because you want to sell records, you're going to fail. How can people get your albums? You can go to the record stores that are still open. <laughs> you can go to Tower. You can, oh, Tower's no longer. You can go to Amoeba. You can go to, um, to Rasputin's if you're in the Bay Area. Uh, you can get it online at Amazon. You can get it at collective, C-O-L-L-E-C-T-I-V dot com. Um, you can go to myspace.com slash Jennifer Johns. Um, you can go to jenniferjohns.com. Got lots of options in the web world. <laughs>
So basically how I started this music thing, you know, I grew up in the church, you know, I always loved music. I sang in the choir since I was five years old. Also, my mom, she's a pianist, so I think I just have the musical ear naturally. You know, my mom, she played keys since she was five. So basically, you know, I wrote poetry and everything. My older, my older brother, he used to rap all the time. So I used to take his, you know, tapes and listen, learn his raps, everything, and, and really get inspired to write my own music. So basically, that's how I started writing my own music. My first rap, my cousin Crystal wrote for me, but the first person that really just made me want to rap was my partner, Lil Bobby. He also over there in the hood right now. Basically, what made me want to rap, I seen this dude since elementary. He was the first cat in the hood rapping. So basically, it was a whole bunch of things in one, but that's how, you know what I mean? I got inspired to rap. What I, the messages I like to send across is real life messages, stuff that people can relate to immediately, you know what I mean? I want people to be like, oh, that's slap, you know, in the trunk, but also I want them to be like, man, that was deep. Did you hear what she just said? Oh, for real though. You know, and then at other times, I want people to be like, you know, she hella funny, you know, that was crazy, listen to, so basically I want people to get different moods, you know, what, however I'm feeling, sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm feeling like I want to smash on somebody, you know, sometimes I'm feeling loving. Sometimes I'm feeling like I want to help somebody. I had you guys come to this area. Like I said, this is East Oakland, Sobrani Park. This is where I grew up. And this is also known as the hardest community in the city of Oakland, you know what I'm saying? This is how we live, this is, this is what we had. And basically, like I said, it was violence up here. You feel me? And they closed our park, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to open up this park for something positive, you know what I'm saying, for the youngsters in the hood that have to live around here and show them that it ain't all bad all around here, you feel me? As a female rapper, out here is very hard, you know what I'm saying? I'm challenged all the time because the, um, the guys don't really see, like, you know, how I can have so much drive or motivation to really do this. But my thing is, this is my passion, this is what I love, so I'm gonna do it anyway. So the challenges I face is, you know, people be scared like, oh, she gonna rip me on a track. I mean, it's, it be a little petty stuff, you know, I don't really wanna get into it because that stuff don't affect me. I got love for everybody. If you show Queen Deal love, I show you love straight up. Let's be legit out here, have real hustles, but at the same time benefit our community. And that's all hyphy IC is. You see us in the streets going dumb, guaranteed a free ice cream or a bop pop. You already know how we get down. Or come to the mic, give a shout out to moms, fam, whatever. You know you're gonna get something. All we're trying to do is show love. Our, our elders, we see them out there walk, walking, we give them free water. That's how we do it, you know what I mean? Hyphy love. So with the whole hyphy movement going on, I'm a part of the young generation, so I cannot just like deny the hyphy movement, you know what I'm saying? That is a part of me, that was a part of growing up in the Bay Area. It was very wild, you know what I'm saying? So um, we, lack, we lack a lot out here in the Bay, we don't have a way to express ourselves, so that's basically what the hyphy movement is. I'm about to drop my album, Rise for the Queen, in the March, it's gonna hit the streets, all independent, all out of my pocket. Marcus Garvey, my producer, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Jay, you know what I'm saying? A couple other producers, you know what I mean? That showed your girl some love, you know what I mean? DJ Big, Bay Area Music, you know? A couple of people that really cut records, just show your girl love. So, I got a lot of projects, Silence the Violence, you know? That's about to um, drop a big project with Be Legit, Fab, Guapale, Zion Nye, Queen Dealer, Ray Ryder, uh, Jay Stalin, you know what I'm saying? Cub Records, you know what I mean? So I got a lot of big stuff for the 07 name on the real. So I'm just out here trying to represent hard for the ladies, for real. What is it, y'all? You're watching Yo TV. You better not go nowhere because I'll be right back. Yo TV, we will be right back because we have a commercial break. In the meantime, go ahead and check out our website, youthoutlook.org, to check out all those articles, videos, and everything else we do to keep you informed. Bay Area. <laughs> 
All right, we got hot chocolate bringing you Miss Amber Dante. I like her. She's pretty good. She's a Frisco musician representing the Fo One Fifth. It's great. So you're gonna want to check her out up next on Yo TV. All right, this is your boy Hot Chocolate, and I'm on some rooftop in the city of San Francisco. And this lovely young lady standing next to me is recording artist Amber Dante. So in case y'all don't know, I was sitting at work one day, and you know, I work with big star Mr. My Motion. And all of a sudden, he puts on this record, and this, this beautiful voice comes out of the speakers, and I go, My Motion, what's that? And, and he goes, it's a new young lady, Amber Dante. And the song was called Fabulous. And then, you know, I had to track you down on MySpace. It's a great song. I love your voice. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about how you started. OK, so, you know, I grew up in the church like everybody else, singing in the Sunshine Choir. Um, been singing in school choirs all my life, college, everything. There's some things that deterred me from the industry, and I chose kind of an undergraduate college route and all that good stuff. But then, you know, the passion never leaves you so it kind of resurfaced itself and some opportunities came up so about a year ago um, I started working on my own project funding it and writing songs and hooking up with some good producers some good people and here you have Amber Dante, she Records, Fabulous, the single that is now finding its way across the nation and to the UK and um, we're doing it big. That's what's up. Now she's being modest. She's not only a singer. She makes it like she just, you know, wakes up in the morning and just sings all day. Now, tell us about your day job. Can we know about the secret day job? Because they may be watching, you know. Right, right. right. I'm a middle school teacher. Uh, I work for Kit Bayview Academy. We're a very young staff of teachers straight out of college. Um, I'm a middle school teacher. I teach performing arts and guided reading. And it's great. You know, I can also share my ideas with them and they'll tell me if my songs are whack or not. And they give me ideas. Why did my teachers look like you? When I was in like 7th and 8th grade, man, I would have been a happy camper. So what can we expect from you? What what more, like we have the song, what, what are some other things that we should look out for that you're working on that you're doing? Um, the main thing that I want people to do is kind of request the song on their local radio station. But the main thing that I'm working on right now is what I have is a CD. So I have a kind of an EP out, an eight song CD. And that's just kind of to promote myself as well as to create some revenue for the future project. But I'm also working on my debut album. You can look for some big names too. I mean, I'm still going to keep it grassroots, but I definitely want some of the production superstars on there. Jazzy Faye, he's one of my favorites. Um, so you can just expect to hear my name. You know, we're going to go from local to international. When, you know, people call in, they thought the song was actually by Guapale. I know when you hear R&B <laughs> in the Bay, you think Guapale. How do you feel about that comparison? Oh, she's a beautiful sister, beautiful voice. That's great. I mean, I'm trying to get to where she is and, and then some, so. Maybe a little collabo. A little collabo. She's down. Call me, girl. I'd like to hear it. They need to know where they can find you. All right. Main place to tell you everything you need to know about iTunes and Rasputin and all that good stuff is my MySpace. It is Amber Dante Music. That's A M B E R D A N T E M U S I C. Amber Dante Music. Look me up. I have all the links you could think of and everything that you need right there. And you know, if she's hard to find, just go to myspace.com slash the hot chocolate show. She's right there in my top people because you know I love you, girl. Uh. All right, we got a commercial break coming up next, but don't go anywhere because Miss Amber Dante is going to sing for you. She's going to represent with her pipes and no music the, in the, the singing, background. The beautiful <laughs> voice of an angel. Wow. <laughs> That's what I had. <laughs> On the karaoke mic. <laughs> sad, sad for a minute. I really wanted to get even for all the pain that you caused me. All the dough I was tricking, we was living together, even through stormy weather. Talking about getting married, even bought me a ring, boy. How could you do this to me after all that I gave you? Wasn't my love enough? Huh? Ooh, too bad. Too late, you're lost. I'm straight. I forgot how much I'm effing.
baby, you L-O-U-S. You the one messed me up, boy. Now I get so jealous, boy. Now I'm so insecure. Calling her never before. Even question my beauty. Thought maybe it was me. Now I always wonder if you're chilling with her. I forgot I was pretty smart with the degree. And now it's too late, cause I am feeling myself. Woo! Thanks for touring with us. Yes. Learning about all these fine young females. We're teaching you that you don't have to be a hoochie in order to get recognized. No, you don't. Just have a beautiful voice. <laughs> And some good dance moves like me. <laughs> Shake what your mama gave you. <laughs> I want to give a special little shout out to my No Fear family. Happy birthday to all you April folks. Mm -hmm. And um, we will be back. Yo Youth Outlook is the website. Email us at yotv at youthoutlook.org. We'll love that. And um, add us as friends on MySpace. We would love that. We'll be back next week. Same time, same channel. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. <laughs> girl's bathroom I went to go wash my hands and inside of that plastic like soap thingy at the very bottom there's soap and then they had one of those like critters in there that have uh, that's, like eight legs and I was gross. like I don't know if I want to wash my hands that's anymore. Disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> Eight-legged critters while you're washing in, your hands. In my soap. <laughs> I can see through the plastic. I was it was like, like it was like frozen. <laughs> <laughs> in the glycerin. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>